When you hear the word cancer, you need to step back and take a breath. Stop, breathe. Do your research. Do as much research as you possibly can. Find someone, whether it's a relative or a friend or your spouse that you trust, that will help guide you through the process. That became my job and I, you know, immediately took action. I took action and, and, and I, I, you know, researched it and I had no idea what oral cancer, I knew nothing about it, so I wanted to kind of understand it and um, find a doctor that had a lot of experience. My wife and I started to try and figure out how we were going to go about selecting a doctor. We figured that it would be best for us to get three professional opinions. I think that's the best thing that you can do, is to get a second opinion. To make sure that that's really what it is, that that second doctor agrees with the treatment of the first doctor. Maybe the second doctor will have different ideas on what you can do. I think it's important to advocate for yourself. If you're not feeling um, some kind of connection with your doctor, you should just get out and find someone else. You have to be in a place where you feel safe, and you feel well cared for. Feel comfortable with your doctor. Don't be afraid to ask questions. Ask questions. Ask, ask, ask. Ask that doctor, how many times have you done this operation? How often do you see this cancer? What is your success rate? And if the answer isn't what you want to hear, find a place that has doctors who do it every day. And I just felt very safe. And uh, that probably was really what made me make my decision was that I just, I felt safe with this guy. You know, he explained what the surgery would entail step by step. This is what we're gonna do, boom, 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 boom. And it was done with confidence and assurity and it made me feel better that I knew that, okay, now I just have to walk through it. This is our life, so you should be finding the best uh, for you.